During the Western Han period, there was a young boy named Kuang Heng. He had a strong desire to study like the children in the school and learn from the teachers. However, his family was very poor and couldn't afford to send him to school. He often stood outside the school, listening to the sounds of reading from within. A neighbor noticed his love for learning and took the time to teach him how to read. Finally, he could read on his own. Since Kuang Heng couldn't afford books, he came up with a solution to borrow books to read. Books during that time were precious and owned only by wealthy families. In order to access books, Kuang Heng devised a clever plan. In the village, there was a wealthy household with a large collection of books. One day, he went to that household, greeted the owner respectfully, and begged, please let me stay with you and I'll work for your family. I don't want any wages, I only ask that you lend me your books to read. I promise it won't affect my work. Seeing Kuang Heng's polite and earnest request, the owner, moved by his desire, took him in. Kuang Heng finally fulfilled his wish to read books. Through changing seasons, Kuang Heng worked in the fields from morning till night. He could only read for a short while during the lunch break. At night, due to lack of money and oil lamps, he couldn't read. Therefore, it took him ten days to half a month to finish reading a single scroll of a book. Although he felt distressed, he had no choice. One evening, returning home, Kuang Heng noticed light coming from his neighbor's window. Suddenly, an idea struck him. He felt along the wall shared with his neighbor's house, and he found a damaged spot on the wall. He took a small knife and carefully chipped away at the damaged area. After a short while, a faint ray of light seeped through the crack in the wall. Kuang Heng was ecstatic. He didn't dare to enlarge the hole for fear of disturbing the neighbor, so he used this tiny bit of light to read. The light was dim, causing his eyes to grow tired and strained. He would rest for a while before continuing to read. With the determination of drilling holes to steal light, Kuang Heng delved into a wide range of books and eventually became a scholar of the Western Han Dynasty. He worked for others at night to earn the opportunity to study, making the most of even the slightest glimmer of light. This attitude and diligent qualities led Kuang Heng to become a great scholar. Sometimes, external circumstances limit the progress of many, but those with determination create their own opportunities for advancement. Hardships are temporary experiences, while the knowledge gained from enduring difficulties becomes a precious and lasting treasure in life.